I saw my friends. If you knew, you know what to do. Subscribe today. My name is King B. Brad, and welcome back to Yes, Your Grace. All right, the pigeon got some news. I got some people in here I got to take care of, and my lovely, good right hand man, Audrey, is here for all my wisdom and knowledge. The craft will flourish, no man can stop. In the middle of the night, we shall meet, for our dust spreads fastest in the sandstorm. Who sent this? Who sends this to this weird riddle to me? Can anyone make any sense about it? I'm afraid it just as you as your grace, something does tell me it does with Oracle Dust, though. We shall pass this on to either Lurz or Etten. It's your call. Yeah, we need to figure that one out. Like, what is secret? I wonder if Etten will probably be like, yeah, dude, it's, it's a good thing. And then I feel like Lurz would be like, dude, don't trust that. That Oracle Dust, man, don't trust it. And I'm not going to trust it. I am going to let the guy out that I left in the dungeon last time, though. I felt bad. Your Grace, I have found the bandits you are searching... ...that you were... Oh, Your Grace, I have found the bandits. They were quite the bunch, drinking away in the forest nearby. I let the villagers deal with them. I am ready for our next orders. Thank you. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Lords, you called for me, Your Grace. I found this message. Oh, perfect. I have done as you asked. Wonderful. You have stopped the growth of Etten's business. Oracle Dust shall still be about, but we definitely help reduce its spread. Unfortunately, there are a small problem in the way. With Etten not buying my spices, others have turned their backs on me as well. I can hardly make a coin now. That's why I had to start trading with Rendovians. That's not good. That's supporting our enemy. We're going to war with them. I suppose so, but they're helping us too. I'm sure that's not an easy decision for them either. Your Grace, the bottom line is I need gold. Otherwise, I will be able to sustain my army. The only other option I see is you bought the spices from me. I only need monthly installments, though. I need to keep my business running or else I'll wrap it all up. If you don't like any of those options, I suppose we need to part ways. Ooh, I'm so complex because I feel like... I feel like it doesn't have to be this way. But three gold a week, bro? Three gold a week? Every time I hit the continue button, three gold out of my pocket on top of all this I've had to pay for? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I really don't want to. I really don't want to spend the gold for this man's spices that I'm like, are gonna do nothing for me. But we keep him as an ally. We need his army. It's fine. They covered him off from their supplies. So they'll hopefully lower your morals. Ah, very well. They'll set up on this, blah, 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 blah. That's all for now. See? 200 army. We needed that. Your alliance gave us many benefits, Your Grace. We should expect an increase of our income at the end of the week. Ooh, that's good. All right, excuse me. I'm not, I don't feel so bad then. Your Grace, I come from the tavern. The business is going so well, but lately I've been having troubles and all is getting out of hand. The tavern began a great place for everyone to gather and have a good time. But some local ponderers say an opportunity for us to place a fine customers. At first it was fine, just some girls lurking around every now and then. But now the tavern has turned into a brothel. People are only visiting for the girls. Although my sales have gone through the roof, I've got to say. It attracts customers, but the ponderers eventually took over my tavern. And they cause all sorts of trouble that you can imagine, Your Grace. Almost every week I have to deal with these disrespectful, violent men. I'm scared they will soon take over the tavern completely and leave me with nothing. On the other hand, if I kick them out, they will relocate to another pub. I'll lose all my customers and we'll have to close down. Uh, I feel like it's like a comeback in another time. What do you think, Sir Kitty? What do you think, so? Come back at another time. Okay. I'll, I'll tell him to come back at another time. That sounds good. That sounds good. Oh, my goodness. Will you, but would you really close down if you kick him out? Like, I don't see that being, like, too bad of a problem, you know? Like, I'm not sure how much of a problem that truly is. Come back... We'll come back in two weeks' time. Okay, tell, give me the update. We need the update. Soldier! Your Grace, one of the nearby lords have committed suicide. <laughs> oh my god! I believe it was Petro. He jumped down from a bridge into the river. Some children found him floating past the village. They get quite scared, as, as you should be. He left this note. I am deeply sorry. Let his family know that he can count on us if they need anything. He didn't have anything, Your Grace. Anyone, Your Grace. Thank you for your information. I do not know who it was that kept following me. 
and I cannot take living in fear anymore. Oh, it's the guy that kept bothering me. I hope you have gone now, and I am gone, whoever you are. That's terrible. I wish I could have helped him. I know from Pedro. Honestly, he's no longer in my castle. I don't care. Sadani! Your Grace, I come to you with a special request. To turn Stabber into a prince, I need to lift his curse. I've researched more into it. I think you're the youngest one of us who can read, Sadani. Well, I made Dancy read it for me. I've already loved him as hard as I can. I squish and tickle his tummy all the time. But now, I need to make him rich. Your Grace, may I please request one piece of gold? I'll pay it back, I promise. A piece of gold to make the hedgehog rich, hmm? Uh, fine. Uh, here's your one piece of gold. Don't lose it. That's valuable. Thank you, Father. Your efforts will not be forgotten. I also need a black rooster. Find a black rooster with a saddle. Why do you need a black rooster with a saddle? You know where I can find one? Oh, my silly pickle. I honestly... Don't know. You're losing your mind. It's fine, my king. I shall find one myself. All right. That seems like a good throne day. Good throne day. I just want to see if there's anything that needs to be done uh, around the village. No, nothing. Just a good old sit on my throne day. Gold payment. Spices. General. Army upkeep. The new inn. The business. But these better start paying off. Like, I'm getting shafted over here in Grenville. Grevno. Ah, Pigeon, yes, dear Eric, I hear you are already too late to marry your daughter. We had some struggles, but we are ready within 14 weeks. I believe we can explore other options. I hope that you'll keep to your promise. Baron, the King of Randovia. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know they come to get another daughter. 14 weeks? That's too soon. We need to gather an army. 14. Uh... Oh, dude, you good? Bro, my king's been going through it, trying to hold down a damn whole kingdom. Yo, Wake, you give us all a big fright indeed. I felt like the last hour just disappeared. The Rendovi king sent us another letter. You didn't take it well. Rendovi will be in 14 weeks. We need to get ready. The doctor says you're worrying too much. If you were younger, it wouldn't be too much of a concern, but you are at an age where you're more prone to the effects. You need to take care of yourself. How could I do that? We have to prepare for the battle. We have no army. Yes, we must. Yes, that we must, but we need to keep calm. Everything will be fine. Now go on. You still have work left to do. You're right. I better get on with things. Alright. The Grey Mouse. Someone better have good news. Shit is hitting the fan. All right, back. I'm feeling a little better, yes. Did anything happen while I was gone? No, everything's the same. About the letter. We need to focus on gathering as many allies as possible in the next weeks. Invite Lord to see how they can make alliance with them. While we are doing that, we should also focus on these evidence items for the royal trial. Question Lord to see if any of those things lead us to the killer. I don't mean to cause you stress, but we only have 14 weeks. Of course, Audrey. I agree, we shouldn't have distracted with petty matters. Let's get to it. Cracks fingers, let's get right at it. Yeah, hey, yo, you go, what is this? What are you holding? Is this some type of new technology? Oh, fine, peasant first. Yeah, grash. May I have your audience, please? I'm working to do some fishing. Like I always do, your grace. <laughs> but as foolish as I am, I, uh, I fell asleep, yes. Stupid, stupid stuffing. I always have to mess everything up. Anyway, someone took my fishing rod. And now I have nothing. Just the only thing I had left after my wife died. Oh, my sweet Anna. If she saw what a mess I am, she put me right back into my place. It is all my fault, your grace. I would wanted me and her and the kiddish to have a good time. So I take everybody out of my boats, and then the storm came, and it was just flipped to put upside down. I swear I don't know your grace. When I woke up on the shore, they were gone. So I shall wait every day, and I fished the past time. And now I don't even have my rod. Please, your grace, spare the old man. 
If I could ask for a piece of gold, then swear I will buy the fishing rod and nothing else. Not me, your grace. I'll give him, I'll give him the gold. I'll give him the gold. Damn sob stories get me. Your wife passed away, flipped over the boat and the kids. All he had left was, man. General! Lord Anne's wares were successfully protected. Just as you requested, your grace. Lord Anne's wares? Something like that, yeah. Lady, a pleasure to meet you, your grace. And my biggest condolences about Talis. Although I didn't like him at all. Me and you both. I don't give a f about Talis either. But oh, I mean, oh, no, I'm crying. Yes, uh, my biggest. You, I am also in deeply despair. Anyway, Lurz has explained your situation to me. I believe I can help for something in return, of course. You see, you have something I want to give to my son. Hmm. Someone, actually. I would like your daughter Asalia to marry him. I believe it would greatly strengthen our relationship for years to come, and as a start, I will lend you my army. 300 fully equipped trained soldiers all ready to stand against Radovia. Radovia. Along with men, four gold, and five supplies. So what do you say? I gotta talk to Asalia about that one, Chief. I don't think Asalia would be like, yeah, 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 it's fine. Because I remember Asalia's like, the same is gonna happen to me, right? Let me think about it. Of course, darling. Take as much time as you like. Just remember that we never won't be waiting for you to get ready. I got a note for 14 weeks, bitch. I know. <laughs> Peasant. Your grace, I come to tell you the water of the oak has cleared. Our people haven't prayed or confessed in weeks. Oh, they are so happy now. I bought you something small as a gift. It's a banquet made of oak fallen leaves. I saved from them last year. It will bring love and luck to your throne room. Well, thank you, I think. I hope it really does. Yeah, we need all the help we can get. I'll just leave it by the window. Oh, I liked it. Alright, well, bring me some good luck, Oak Leaves. I'm gonna smack him the. Bring me some good luck, Oak Leaves. We need it. Jugris, I bring the magical thing of magical splendor. It is only worthy of a royal. No one else deserves this magnificent being. Your grace, I present to you my match. My magical cock! <laughs> Don't let your eyes fool you. It isn't a regular cock, your grace. No, this cock has been enchanted. It can tell a lie from a truth, your grace. And what it senses a lie, it voice its disapproval. I believe it is to be a real asset to your third room. I'll help you lead better of any advisor. See, I'm no liar. The cock stayed quiet. How can I be sure of this? Agree? Try yourself, your grace. Tell a lie or a truth. I'm Audrey the Fourth, and I'm my real birth name. See, I wasn't lying, your grace. So how much do you want for this thing? 18 gold! <laughs> it's a lot of gold! It's a lot of gold! But it might be really good. This is a magical cock. I might need it. The magical cock. I might need it. It's not worth It's not worth this much. 16 gold. I don't... Uh, uh, all right. All set. Take care, you guys. Thank you. Wait for Sadani. I don't want to buy it. This is a this is my magical rooster. I paid the prettiest penny for the damn thing. Well, we got a rooster that tells truth from lies, and we got an oak banquet for good luck. Fingers crossed, we can clutch it up here. Do you remember Lady Lena? She was your sister's wedding. Yes. Why are you telling me this? Well, she asked if you would like to marry her son. See, I'm doing the right thing by asking, right? As a king, I'm at least asking. The first daughter got a little shafted. Got a little shafted, but I'm asking now, so it's a little different. But before you throw attention, I know I haven't given her a decision. Oh, I see. I guess I won't have much to say in this matter anyway. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't even know him. Do you think I want to marry a stranger? If there's anyone who want to marry, no. 
You need to find someone sooner or later. You know how this works. I know. I just don't think I'm ready for this. No one is ready for this ass. I haven't given him a word. Think upon it. Think upon it. I haven't given any word yet. I have the best word. I have the best justice. I am the king of... Sick. Hello. I know you have some very pressing issues now, but considering last week's incident, perhaps we should think about securing an heir here. Years are passing by and none of us are getting any younger. If you don't have the rightful heir, Eva will be next in line. He's not a bad person, but likely Davin would be part, uh, become a part of Atanya. Rest assured, Aurelia and I are working on that air. Let me just tell you how it be working. All right, okay. At this age, it's not easy anymore. You know, I got to put some effort into making that air. You know, I gotta. Of course, three dollars is plenty. Yeah, let me worry about that when the time comes. Kuroka, Joven, hello, Joven, you guys. My cousin is about Talia's death. Yes, yeah, shame. I've heard about Rendovia. I can help you with him. I remember your command. I always give you five gold, but it only if Sir Frederick joins our, your ranks. I wouldn't. It would not want to upset him. Sir Frederick? Who is Sir Frederick? Battle for Brianna. You must have heard. He led a defense force, repelled an army five times bigger. My superior officer, I served under his banner. Although he has been many years, he kept in contact. We trained together. Recent years haven't been easy for him, I must say. Yeah, I have found this in my wine cell. Can you tell me anything about it? You have an extensive library, Your Grace. You don't have a, best a bestiary you could look at? I don't think we can keep any bestiaries in our library. I don't either. I think someone who has personally dealt with a lot of animals should know more about this tooth. Convince the to join and I'll help your cause. Okay. That's okay. I come from the tavern. Like I said before, people are only visiting for the girls. Although my sales have gone through the roof, I gotta say, I attract customers, but the panders essentially took over my tavern. All your cause also trouble you can imagine, Grace. Almost every week I have to deal with this program by a man, blah, 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 blah. This guy come out then. Okay, I'll send him out. Peasant! Your Grace, I come with you with a personal matter. You see, I've lost my own and only beloved pig. Why? Why is it the pig? My eyes just got fucking water. She means the world to me. I have heard that you pay gold for the ones that have lost. Good chance you can help. I don't have the money. Listen, I'm sorry about your pig, but I just can't help. I need coin. Your God, your grace, our village was on fire last week and you've helped us. We have found assistance just in time. The chapel started to catch fire, but we managed to save it. I wanted to bring you the greatest of blessing to you, your grace. We are forever in your debt. Yeah, I remember. I sent, sent them to help. Oh! Are you lying to me, peasant? I'm happy to do this. I hope you're resting so uh, We're working on you, Grace. Thank you again. You're lying to me, peasant! The car! The car tells all! So, Daddy. Where is there? He's black. Oh, gosh. What? But. No, but I want it for when people are lying to me. I paid so much coin for nothing. Father, I was wondering if we could practice sword fight again. Perhaps the garden? Great, I'll see you in the gardens. Fuck. Fuck. No. That chicken better stay in the throne room. So help me God. I'm so mad. You know, I'm petting sappers again. Screw it, screw it. Don't, st don't stab yourself. Uh, hey yo, who dis? There's another princess. Your first father. Who's this? I've already found someone to practice. I see you already found someone to practice with. Well, I'm not going to wait for you all day, am I? I haven't seen you before. Who are you? This is Maya. Remember when I sneaked out of the wedding party? This is when you're not 
The one you weren't not supposed to go to? Well, yes. Anyway, that's when I met Maya. We had fun at the wedding and thought it would be nice for her if she came to visit. Your grace. My father's swordsman, he shows me a few tricks. I need to pay you swords. May I seem to be ready when the enemy strikes. That's what my father says, okay. I can't quite please your accent. You're not from around here, are you? Um, my parents are from Baravia, where the hell that is. We're passing by and stopped in the capital for a couple weeks. Mr. Abbott. I feel like a Misa Donnie came up with the name. I don't know practice with it, but I talked her out of it. She should be happy not running around with the real sword father. Alright. I'll leave it to you. Just don't come screaming if you cut your finger off. Thank you, father. We won't. Oh my god. I spent a lot of money for that cock and it was... He's still about a lord. Yeah, I guess. I want to invite Lord. No, not Lord. Fuck. I should invite someone else. No, Sir Frederick. Sir Frederick, I should invite. Okay, it's fine. We got time. We got time. We got time. Don't need to freak out about it. A little more money is good. A little more money is good. I think we paid back for the wedding dress now. That was like 50 gold, like 15 gold each. Dear King of Davin, the Western Woods near Branca are not involved. Are not. Are not. Uninvolved in your troubles. An uncommon object can lead you to the sinner. Be quick. Yours sincerely. Whoever sent this letter must have gone to great lengths to pay a scribe to write. They must be important. We better extend our girl to those woods to see what the matter is. I've marked it on the location of your map, you grace. Okay. Norse! I didn't mean to... I honestly didn't mean to call for you. I'm not gonna lie, Chief. Uh, Sir Frederick. Sir Frederick. Lady, I've heard that Lena has made a proper made you a proposition. I must say it's good f that you haven't agreed to it, Your Grace. But do not make the mistake. Do not accept her offer. That this marriage cannot happen. It seems to me that you don't know of the curse that plagues Lena's family. Curse? What curse? They say that if her son does not participate in the act of marriage before his 12th spring, he will fall asleep and never wake up. Is there a way to lift this spell? There is. That's why Lena is definitely looking for someone to marry her son to lift the bait. The problem is you can't completely get rid of it. If her son gets married, it says that the spell will move on to the bride and she will die in the following night. Are you willing to risk that? Fuck no. You know, strongly this how this marriage is though. I will consider your advice for sure. Who are all these peasants? Be, 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 your grace, I wanted to see that you missing potatoes. Someone must have stolen them, and I think I know who it was. But they say only one request per visit, so it seems like I have much bigger problems now. I come from afar, but by the time I arrived, I was very tired. I, I wanted to get some rest, and I sat on one of the fine chairs in the hall. I know I should have, but the gods have punished me already. I have sat down on some living pine cushion, it's, it would seem. It squeaked and I jumped up right away. And when I stood up, my bottom was all covered in spikes. Stabbers. It's only that I, that I feel very ill and weak even. I fear the chair creature has poisoned me. What can I do? The stabber? The stabber! Oh no, it sounds very serious. I'm not sure that we what we can do here. I think I might have something that will help. Name's Elena, your grace. I know that brewing potions, I can help with magical anomalies, diseases, I dabble in wound healing also. A witch? The well round, well red woman. At your service. We could definitely use someone like this to help out with our people, you guys. They would be a great to our Russian of agents. Yeah, but what's the catch, though? What do you hope to gain from this? And of course, there's always something people want in return, right? A simple woman, all I need is a roof over my head and something to eat. In return, I am willing to lend you the kingdom I aid in supernatural problems. I just want to help people. You'll be able to see the expenses from the weeks. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. 
the witch hurt you, Grace. I mean, they're closer, or perhaps they're just teasing us. Probably just a tease. Probably just a tease. Teasing? People being killed, maimed, and enslaved is just teasing? Your Grace, I didn't look like an entire battalion. It must have been a small squad. Send us your men. We will fight back. This is a clear emotion, but we have a look at a bigger picture here. If we fight them off, they will certainly grow angry and fight back in more force. We don't need to start that early. And all of their attacks may encourage them to carry out more. Your Grace, we have something about this. We have to do something about this. We can't just let them trample our lands. I'll set supplies your ways, at least for us to survive and move out of the village. Come, come close to the castle. Is that all, your grace? We're just told to let them do whatever they want and run away from them? That's nonsense. It's the best, believe me. Fine, your grace. We'll be we as close to the castle as possible. Don't you fucking back sass your king! Your grace, we hear of an upcoming battle. That's a perfect time for us to gain some coin and additionals for you, for you to get some help. We're mercenaries, 22 skilled men at your disposal for only 16 coin. What do you say? We'll go with it. We'll go with it. The only reason why I say that because there's some skilled men and we can possibly send them on other excursions versus like the whole army, you know? Hey, yo, Elena. I wonder if she can take a look at the tooth, you know? Yo, Grace. So, uh, your hedgehog passed away. The silver! Oh no, he should have before. I should have sent him on the mission. I knew he wasn't ready. Tell me! Did he complete his mission at last, his final quest? They, they can hardly follow any instructions. That's supposed to be good. No one suspects a hedgehog. Yes, an undercover mission. He was meant to scout the area, retrieve information, and return to me. This way, if he helped me, he would owe him a promise like in the story, Father. <sighs> Nothing as elegant feels as a cat, as Dusty. Next time, I'll find a fiercer agent. I'll train him to be able to can. Can the, can the rooster make at least... I, I don't care if the rooster even fools me at this point. I just want him in the throne room so I can deal with the bull. We already put an end to it, but we're gonna put an end to us right here. So stay tuned for more of our kingdoms and livelihood. That is yes, your grace. If you liked it, let me know. Like and comment down below. Subscribe today. Be part of Curly Crew. Reaching close to the 9:30 mark today. But until next time, this is B Brad telling you, B Brad out, and much love.